Welcome to Leilani Electronics. Right here we have a uh, giant uh, clock. Um, this is made up of six digits for the seconds, minutes, hours. It's these digits right here, I think they're the uh, two and a half inch displays was the biggest I could find because I wanted a giant clock. Um, I call it the, uh, the will or clock that's named after my son, uh, who's autistic. So I made him this giant clock to put in his room is the front. Let me flip it over for you. Here's the back. I made this clock, uh, designed this, uh, nine years ago. Uh, it's been sitting, sitting in his room. Um, this is green. I'm sorry, this is green, by the way. These displays are green. And it looks like just an ordinary clock, but what I did was I put a Emic TTS, which is an Emic text to speech module right here that plugs in here. And at the time, I was able only to get about four of them because they sold out and they're they're uh, they're hard to get um, so uh, every every hour this would read out or speak out the time on this little speaker right here and there's your um, your RTC real-time clock which keeps track of the seconds hours uh, minutes days year so on and so on but I only program it just to just to tell the time. Get a good look at that. It draws a lot of power, so I put a fuse on it. You really don't need it, but I just put one on it. The bore looks kind of old, but it's it's really not. It's just no. It's just been collecting a lot of dust on the back. And here's the front. I just use standard LEDs for the colons, like I do in most of my projects. And let me plug it in for you. Right here on the side here. Let me plug it in right here. And I push the button on the back to start it. I'll show you the three buttons in the back. Oops, sorry. Turned it off and turn it on. There we go. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. There's the back. The buttons on the back are program ones for uh, to uh, set the time, reset, and dim. I have a um, this chip right here is a digital excuse me a digital potentiometer, which is controlled by the uh, the microchip. And I'll go over the schematic. I'll go over the schematic to so see you guys can get a better better uh, feel for how this works. There it is. And I have another one that I started to solder up because this is what I was the point I was trying to get to is I wanted to update this. So when I built this one years ago, they only had the green ones. So then about uh, six or seven months after I built it, the blue ones became available. And these are the giant blue ones. Right here, look at that. I got these from DigiKey. They still may be available. I'm going to go over all the part numbers, um, look them up and see if they still have them. I'm pretty sure they still have the green ones, but the blue ones, we'll find out. Here's, here's the back. And where's okay? There's the part numbers right there. Okay, and I already have a board soldered up from when I did this one. We're gonna unplug this one and plug in this backup one. Let me get this plugged in right there. You see the light just came on. Now, what I'm gonna do is this uh. 
I put these sockets so just in case the LED blew out, you can pop it out and replace it. Because once you solder them on the board, you know, good luck trying to get them out. Let's see, we'll just toss this one in there. There it is. A one. Because I have a preset to start out at 12 o'clock. You know what I mean? Let me put one here in a second so you can see it actually count. Let's see how we got this here. Okay. There. Hmm. Looks like we have a problem with this board. No problem. I was expecting that. Defective. No problem. We'll just pop those out. Probably got damaged where I have wherever I had it uh, stored. So you had this all soldered up and ready. I could troubleshoot it later. And if all else fails. Anytime I do a circuit, I always order three or more boards. So, let me do this out here. Let me show you a fresh, fresh clean board still in the plastic. But there we go. Express PCB. See, that one looks a lot cleaner, a lot better. In this video, I'm going to solder this up, show you how I soldered it. There's the back side of it. Nice and clean. Okay, all right, so we're going to go from this to this, but instead of it being green, it's going to be blue. And we're going to go over a schematic, uh, the PCB, the program, we'll go over all that. And I'll show you how I did this from, um, from scratch paper to the uh, finished finished board okay so um we'll be right back i'm gonna get uh get all my parts together get my starter iron and uh go get the other four digits i only got two here we need six and um we'll go from there <laughs> 